finish him. What's up, guys? This is Sam and Zach. Hello. And today, we're going to do our top 10 best games of 2014. Quick thing, you probably haven't heard of me, but I'm Seb. I was in that one GTA video. And now I'm doing this. So, let's go, Zach, if you will. Alright. At number 5 is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This game is a really uh, good game. This is a pretty good game. It's based on Lord of the, um, Gerald Tolkien's Lord of the Rings franchise, well, it's set in the same universe. We thought, well, I think personally that I, it has pretty good graphics, especially even even when it got ported to um, last-gen consoles. Still is amazing to graphics, be yeah. Yeah. It, I, I thought it had a good plot. I mean, what do you think of the plot? Yeah, the plot was pretty good as well. That's why it made it onto this <laughs> list, of course. Being spoiling shit there, bitches. You can play it for yourselves. And, um... Uh, it takes a, it takes pretty good and takes the best elements out of other games like the stealth mechanics and parkour from Assassin's Creed and some of the um and the really it is really in the fight style of like Arkham that's how the combat felt to me yeah so, yeah you definitely got other, you got any other words on it um uh, no that you pretty much covered it in no, overall it's just brutal and that was that's what brutal. make it fun brutal and number four we have king of RPGs this year, Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, originally, I thought uh, Dragon Age Inquisition was going to be a piece of shit, because EA, and they're pieces of shit, how EA is somewhat notorious for taking really good series and making them total shit. That is I true. Cannot ex <laughs> I literally can't express enough how much I fucking hate EA. I think but, most people hate him. Like, just, yeah, I feel that this game, I feel that this game not only has, not only has, not only proves, sorry, to be the king of RPGs in 2014, it also proves to us that Bioware is not dead within the corporate stomach of EA. Yeah, so, and it shows because it has a good loot system, good plot, and it, it, the campaign was really long, well not campaign, sorry, but it was really long. Like, it was, it really does feel like a really good RPG because the campaign is really, really, really fucking long. And that's, that's what, makes what it, most that RPGs what, that's are, what right? Break, that's what makes or breaks an RPG for me. Like, for example, let's take any random RPG. Of course, I'm going to say Pokemon. I like Pokemon because it just generally has a long story that I can complete really fucking quickly. But that's really not the case for Dragon Age. Dragon Age took me, personally, a really fucking long time to finish, and that's what I liked about it. How I wasn't in, I wasn't playing that game for just two days, and then I got bored. Yep, definitely. Um, coming in at number three is Dark Souls 2. Um, this game had really good game mechanics, I must say. It was really, um... Like most games this year, it had great graphics as well. Yeah, well, nearly every game has good graphics these years. Nearly every game, I think uh, basically every game, has had really good graphics this year. Um, because next gen, and people are finally focusing, not uh, finally giving up on um, Gen 7 and focusing on Gen 8. Which is what they should be doing. And... But, and it took, uh, I feel like, um, it took, uh, Dark Souls took everything that was good about the original Dark Souls and then made it better. I feel that this is truly a sequel done right. This is definitely which a is sequel done right. Which is something you honestly don't see that much. I can only ha pick... I could probably list out some of my... Some of the sequels that I think have been done right on one hand with fingers to spare. That would be Dark Souls 2, Bayonetta 2, and probably also Borderlands 2. Halo 2 was also like, even Halo better. Halo 2 also makes this list. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't make this list. It came out like in I'm, 2004. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. The, I'm talking about my this little list. That oh. I was talking okay. About here All right. Just... Sequels done right. But coming in at number two. Uh, <laughs> feel anyone feel the irony? No. Okay. Which this was South Park: The Stick of Truth. This was great to me because the, I played we finally this game. Got a good South Park game. I... Jesus. Fucking Christ, was I waiting a long time for I, a good South Park game. I didn't think this would make it. I didn't think this would be good. But when I played it, I kept playing it and playing it and playing it. That's how good it was. 
This is a yeah. really good game. Like, this is what every game should be. Well, every game that's... This is what every game based on other forms of media should be like. Because this is not only easy, the best... Um, the, the best video game that is based on a completely different piece of media. It is also my favorite and my fun. The, well, the game that I think was the funniest RPG of 2014 and probably this decade, unless I'm proved wrong in about ten years. Um, and def- and this and this game makes it, the whole thing look so much like you're watching a big South Park episode. Like it's, I'm not even joking. It looks. Like the art ty- the art style, it actually, this game is just incredible compared to every other South Park game that is just done wrong, lacked, and yeah, they did lacked good. Lacked what this had. All right. So that is us. Okay, here are some of our honorable mentions this year. Um, uh, Wolfenstein New Order was a pretty good game. I liked it. Didn't quite make this list though. Um, Mario Kart 8. I don't feel that Mario Karting and shitting and blue shelling my friends will ever get old. Infamous Second Son. I did like Infamous Second Son, but his graphics were just had that little bit tweak from when we saw it at E3 the previous year, so that kind of took it out for me. That Master, Master Chief, Chief collection. collection. I didn't. We didn't. We painfully decided to disclude it from this list because ah, uh, even though it's a great game and we love it. It's technically not really a new game. If you haven't noticed, we're not. We didn't include like remasters like GTA Five, or um. Because if we did, then they'll be on this list, obviously. Because GTA they Five. They would have. They would have already been on this list. Master Chief Collection yeah, would be at the top, definitely. So. Master Chief Collection would have won this list. Bayonetta Two, just for the sheer amount of people who I can already, who I already know have just that I already know just masturbated while playing this game. And. Like serious. And Shovel Knight, which was. The best homage to any other, to the, to like, the 8-bit era that I've seen in a real long time. Like, this really does pay respects to the games of old. Alright. Coming in number one. Drum roll, please. Is Sunset Overdrive. Now, before no. you get mad at us, we did flip a coin. I'm a boss ass bitch. 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 I'm a boss ass Bitch, 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 bitch. It doesn't even matter. Sunset Overdrive is such a good game. Like, I played this all the time. Like, I didn't think I would be too interested in it, but it turns out that I love it. And it looks and so it good like, on the Xbox it got One. To be, it literally was, like, from, from, like, August to all the way to about December, it got to be, like, Xbox's poster boy. Well, apart from Master Chief Collection, that was the yeah, real... Yeah, apart from Master Chief, uh, Chief Collection, it got to be the X-Bones poster boy. Like, I think that's worthy of at least some, some, something. And it didn't really stand out to me. Like, I, it, I looked, it looked cool, and I'll, I was going to buy it anyway. And when I bought it, and it was just amazing. Like, I loved it. It had a really cool plot, and the customation, the customization was... Oh, my God. They... they I feel. I also feel like this is a really big homage to like some of us of like other media, like TV shows, movies. Um, there's this one animation. There's this one respawn animation, which I feel like was my favorite homage, which was when you die in one point in the game, you can just you come out of a TV and I'm like, oh yeah, this is so an homage to like The Ring and or then other show. Other... Then there's references to Breaking Bad, like Heisenberg. There's so many Easter eggs. It's so funny. It's it's hilarious and well and like like you said with the customization customization you can make shit that looks horrifying like, like you it, can make fucking big ass buff dudes you can make skinny people some things just look horrendous it like takes the fun aspect of of like making cra- creatures in sport and mixes that with the horror of making characters in saints row like Jesus. Me and when me and Seb were playing this together, well, we weren't exactly playing it together, but when we were, we're there and we we're other playing guy. it, uh, we, we spent, made like, the most oh, horrendous spent, like, characters. Just, just, just making characters, yeah. We made the most horrendous characters ever. It, it's just so much fun, and it definitely and, and deserved. We, eventually, we deleted them at the end, so we can't show. We didn't. We're not showing them at the moment because we don't even have it. But. It definitely did deserve this spot because it definitely did. So Sunset Overdrive did and has now taken um, game of twenty fourteen from the infamous Grand. Um, 
So don't remember it. Not don't including remember. the remakes and stuff like Master Chief Collection. Not including the remakes because, you know, if, if Master Chief Collection was here, it obviously would have won. It gets to take the most honourable of mentions. And, uh, yeah, th- that was the list. Zach, So, outro, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I believe we're working on uh, the t- five most disappointing games. That would be fun. And most of you yeah, probably know what's going to be the most disappointing game. And if you don't, I swear to God, I don't know what's wrong with you. Yeah, you're, fi- you're going to find out soon enough. Wait, look in the coming days for the, um, for the um, best disappointing games of 2014. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Peace.